to bees. <laughs> well, I'm getting ready to go fishing. Yes. And I got my fishing license. Yippee! $41. 25 for resident annual fishing license. 25 Habitat stamp with license ten dollars and for the extra rod five dollars so to have two rods in the water five dollars more which that isn't bad but I have three poles in case one gets broken or something like that third one stays in the vehicle but let's see what we got in here I'm all ready Sunblock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely need that. Here are some lures that I have. I hope I catch some trout on that. Stringer. My cleaning knife. Scissors. These are just a bunch of hooks. These are some old, tiny, I don't even know how I came by these. I probably ought to throw them away. I mean, they're little. All I would catch with these are little minnows, but I've got them. Some bobbers. Fishing rag. This weird little thing <laughs> that I got for a dollar. It'd be funny if I ever cut anything on it. <laughs> um, some weights. Some more weights. little empty bags just in case I need to put some things in there. Barrel swivels, wire leaders, more leaders, some weird little cheap worms. I don't know if these things will be any good at all. Another stringer, fire bait. I need to get some salmon eggs though. Pliers, a little hammer, and a couple little miscellaneous lures. I don't know how I came by these. Someone gave them to me, clearly. Some egg sinkers. And then this package of uh, worms. I've been carrying these around for about two years. Someone showed me, I didn't know how to stick the hook through those worms. There's some special way. My cell phone goes here, and some guy did it for me and showed me how to stick it through there, stick it through there, and then out, and then into the worm, so that when you're pulling it, Ooh, it wiggles and it's snag free because the hook doesn't come through. You don't want to pierce the other side. So now if I can just remember that. <laughs> and I got this last year. This lure. Some woman at the Walmart told me that this is what they used. I think it's the number seven. Yeah number seven and they were catching their limit of trout every time they went fishing at one of the lakes that I'm going to try to get to so that's what I got I think I'm kind of set don't you think so let's get it all back in there nice and neat <laughs> I'm 
really excited to be going. Hope I catch something. <laughs> but even if I don't, it's just nice to be out there by a lake. It's beautiful to just be sitting by some water. That alone is nice and peaceful. I have high hopes for these <laughs> because they got a little shiny thing on them. <laughs> a two-way spinner, that's what it says. These little things are ugly. <laughs> no wonder someone gave them away. I don't know if any fish would bite on those. Let me put away my little bags. With these, I got high hopes for these too. Just wondering. Need to get some salmon eggs, like I said. And this wonky little beast. <laughs> Who knows? So I think I'm pretty set. I can't really imagine anything else I need. Well, and then put my water bottle in there. Oh, over here. What's over here? I think just tissue. Oh, tissue and another rag. Another washcloth. And then in front, just some little knobby gloves to grab some of those slippery suckers. <laughs> So anyway, I'm ready to go with my little $10 fishing pack of Choby Fats from Walmart. Yeah, I love it. Oh, and I didn't show you this. <laughs> That's my bikini top. In case I'm all alone and it's hot. Let me just sneak that in there. <laughs> Here's my three fishing poles. These are the two I use all the time. I've had these for ages. And then I've got this little tiny one as a backup. I've never used it. Comes with its own little tackle set. That's a backup. So I think I'm raring to go. So fishing stories. A friend of mine told me once that some guy she knew caught a catfish and he was skinning it and he must have been skinning it alive but he got it halfway skinned and the thing flipped off the table jumped in the water and swam off <laughs> she said they were witnesses that it, it's not a phony baloney story but you know that thing didn't make it for very long Ugh! I can't even imagine I don't even like the visual in my mind. Also, my longtime friend down in Florida and her husband, they went deep sea fishing, I don't know, about a month, a month and a half ago. She didn't really care for it because it was all day and it was a lot of work and they were out in the heat and the sun. She said the guys um, were just ecstatic. Their fun barometer, as she put it, was maxing out. For her, it was about a four or a five. <laughs> and she goes, oh, I should be ashamed complaining about this. I said, yes, you should. I'd love it. They all have their own boats and stuff like that. So they were out fishing and they caught a bunch of snapper and some other things, you know, decent size, but two big ones that they caught. She got an amberjack and um, I think it was her husband or a friend, somebody got a tuna. Big, over 100 pounds, reeling that monster in. And then it got a little easier. They figured, well, the fish gave up the fight. They tired out. Well, that's not what happened. When they reeled them in, here's what was on the end of the line.
Whoa! Isn't that wild? Sharks came up. Here's a fish going in. Bam! Took the whole body. All that were left were the heads. Wow! I said, yeah, I just started the engine on that boat and headed for shore. <laughs> Whoa, on two of them. So the sharks were right around there. That was amazing. I've never seen that before. They could have made fish head stew, but they threw them back. <laughs> oh, man, that's something. I've just never seen that. Give me the heebie-jeebies. So anyway, I'm getting ready, folks. I'm getting ready. I got to rig this one up. I've got the sinker on it, but I'm going to put at least one line out up here, about 12 inches, and possibly a second one up over higher. So this would be a bottom rig so that that weight kind of drags along the bottom but you've got your leader line and your line out here and that flaps cast it out reel it in cast it out reel it in cast it out whoa daddy I got a big one get it get it fat cat wow <laughs> yeah that's what I'm envisioning <laughs> and then this one I'll just hook one of the lures on it try it obviously I'll set that deeper it's just for control of the line while it's in the Durango and this one I don't know if I'll use it yet this is smaller than these shorter this would be good for trout crappie bluegill sunfish if I'm in an area that seems to have a lot of that all right well I wanted to give you an update on what's going on and I'm really getting excited to go someplace and go fishing. And of course, I'm going to take y'all with me. Sorry it's been so long, but I will take some videos of the trip, of the fishing trip. Okay? Toodles, tubies. Till the next one. <laughs>